Welcome back to our Asset IT Guide for Jira users. In Part 1, we introduced Asset IT and its features for asset management. Today, we'll show you how to get started with Asset IT and all of its setting features. Custom Fields First, let's go to the Settings menu on the left sidebar and choose Custom Field. Custom Fields allow you to track additional information about your assets that the default asset attributes don't cover. A field set is a group of custom fields assigned at the asset model level. For example, you want to track your phone assets. You could create custom fields IMEI, SIM, OS, etc., which are not covered by default. Here you can see a list of all the custom fields and field sets. You can create new ones, search, export, and edit or delete existing ones. Asset Models Asset models contain the most general information which an asset requires like manufacturer, category, model no, end of line, etc. When you create a new asset, you'll select whichever asset model makes sense. That asset will inherit all the attributes from the selected asset model. You can see a list of all the asset models. You can create new ones, search, export, and edit or delete existing ones. You can also do the same way with departments, categories, locations, suppliers, Manufacturers. Status labels. Status labels are used to describe the state of an asset. You can add as many status labels as you'd like. Each status label will have one of four characteristics that describe the state of assets with that status label. Undeployable. These assets cannot be assigned to anyone. Deployable. These assets can be assigned to people. Archived. These assets cannot be assigned to people and will only show up in the archived view. Pending. These assets cannot yet be assigned to anyone. Manage status label. You can go to status labels. See a list of all the custom fields. You can create new ones, search, export, and edit or delete existing ones. Asset tags. An asset tag is the unique identifier of an asset. Asset tags will be used to generate barcodes or QR codes so that you can scan it to check the location and information of that asset. Permissions. Permissions are the settings that admins use to manage access levels of other members. Asset IT supports three access schemes by default. You can also add more custom schemes. After configuring all the settings, you can make custom reports to visualize your data. Asset IT reports allow you to build your own reports of your assets and other resources with conditions and custom field selection. Custom reports can be saved and run in the reports page. That's it for our overview of the settings features in Asset IT. We hope this guide has been helpful in getting you started with Asset IT and its asset management capabilities in Jira. Thank you for watching.